Alright, this is the first episode in what I hope is an ongoing feature for the blog. Uh, we're going to talk about amateur sound editing and a few of the tricks I've learned in the past few years uh, while editing uh, sound and audio files for the mod. Uh, today's episode is going to be about pops. These are basically breath noises that come when whenever you say a plosive. A plosive is a P or B or, or noises where your mouth uh, generates a puff of air and um, the mic mics that are really sensitive will pick these up and we don't want them in the track uh, now your first line of defense is always going to be what's called a pop filter uh, this is basically a sheet of pantyhose that uh, shields the mic from your breath um, you can also make one yourself uh, but they're generally cheap they're like ten or twenty dollars uh, but in case that fails or your your uh, voice is a little breathy, uh, we can always use software to uh, help smooth over the uh, breath noises. Okay, let's listen to this track. Pat parties prolifically in his pink pussy mobile. Notice there's a lot of pops in that track. Uh, what we first have to do, though, to fix that is identify them. Now, uh, pops will generally show up as these squiggly little lines uh, right before the meat of the word. So uh, what we do is we first highlight the squiggle portion of it, just the squiggle area. And next we go to effect, equalization, and we're going to get uh, basically an EQ bar that uh, starts out flat. Now, on the left are bass frequencies. If you're unfamiliar with an EQ equalizer, on the left are bass frequencies. On the right are treble frequencies. You raise these, the treble goes up. You lower them, uh, the treble goes down. Same with the bass, up and down. Now, a breath or a pop noise is a bass frequency. Uh, so, to get rid of it, uh, we first drop every lever under 100 hertz, all the way down. Next, what we want to do is create an incline from 100 to 400. So, what we do is drop these. It doesn't have to be exact as long as it's somewhat close. Uh, as long as we get this kind of curve here, uh, we should be all right. Now, um, you could hit OK, but we don't want to do this every time there's a pop. We want to save these settings. So you go to Save, Manage Curves, uh, hit Rename and give your uh, setting a name. We're going to give the we're going to call this curve penis after the classic curved penis and we're going to hit okay. Now if we accidentally flatten this, uh, we can go back to our saved setting. We go to penis and voila, it's there. Now, uh, we still have our portion highlighted, so let's hit okay and see what happens. Bam, it basically flattens out. And that's what we want to do for all the pops in this track. So let's go ahead and do that. But we can basically just hit Control R, which will repeat. You can also go to Effect and repeat off equalization. But for the sake of brevity, we will hit Control R. Now you notice some of these pops are more egregious than others. Uh, you want to make sure also. Uh, and you can tell how egregious it is by the, how squiggly the line is. But you also want to make sure that you only get the squiggly part. Uh, the reason being is if you stretch it too far, it's going to uh, remove all the bass frequencies. Remember, pops are bass frequencies. So if you stretch it too far, it's going to ruin the whole track. Let's show an example. Pussy mobile. If you notice, all the bass is gone. And so we don't want that. We only want to highlight the squiggly portion. Get both of those and Pussy Mobile sounds much better. Now let's listen to the track as a whole. Pat parties prolifically in his pink Pussy Mobile. Now let's compare that to uh, I have the original somewhere here, I think, or maybe not. Uh, let's undo until we can get the original so we can compare. Okay, so let's get these two side by side. Pat parties prolifically in his pink pussy mobile. Pat parties prolifically in his pink pussy mobile. 
I think that sounds much better. Um, and generally, just using the EQ is going to really, really help. Uh, uh, because most pops are in this vein. They're not that bad. And even the bad one, uh, pretty much uh, we were able to fix just using the EQ. But uh, on occasion, um, especially with combat dialogue, I suppose, you can get something really bad. Like, look at this squiggly line here. It's really, really bad. And now let's take a listen. Popcorn. Yeah, so that, that one was uh, pretty egregious. Um, let's listen one more time. Popcorn. Yeah, so um, EQ may not be enough here. Let's, let's see what happens when we EQ it. Go to effect, equalization. Now you'll notice it got less squiggly, but it's not exactly flat. Uh, so if you take a listen. Popcorn. Sounds pretty bad still. Popcorn. Popcorn. In fact, it doesn't really sound much different other than the bass being taken out. So, what can we do? Well, if you notice, um, the the actual word popcorn, the O doesn't start until here. This is the O, these waves right here. Um, and the P is this flat wave here. Now, technically, everything here is unnecessary. Now this is this is un, might be unnecessary too, but it's flat, so it's not really a pop noise. We can leave that alone. But all of this can be deleted, and of course we want to make sure we leave the P, we leave the O, but delete the breath. Now normally you do not want to delete uh, the middle of a sound wave because it, when you break the wave, it's basically going to create a, a huge crackle noise that uh, will enter the track, and you, we don't want that. But in the case of pops, um, I've found that isn't the case. Deleting them is okay. It may be because these two lines are both flat and they line up pretty well. Because normally the only way you can break a wave is if the, everything lines up, uh, if the remaining waves line up. So maybe that's why, but I'm not sure. In any case, um, it is okay to delete uh, the squiggly part of a pop uh, if EQ doesn't work. Again, it's probably a, a last resort kind of thing. So this pop, we could probably EQ out and make it flat. Now, let's, now you notice it looks a lot better, but we'll have to listen and see if it actually does sound better. Popcorn. 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 And I do think it does sound a lot better. It still sounds natural, even with the deleted part removed. Uh, even with the squiggly part removed, I should say. And so um, it's pretty much the nuclear option. You don't want to delete stuff, but in the event that you have to, uh, you can, it, it does sound uh, much better and you may not have to retake the line. So um, that's it for this episode. Uh, hope you learned something new. Um, and if not, next time I'll just leave a bunch of gay porn here for you to look at. So, uh, that's it.